right, so glad that you're back with us again. So much great content to come, and I have been having it in my heart uh, to talk about this particular subject, which is you've been passed up, and now you're trying to figure out how to deal with uh, the subject of disappointment. Well, you're not alone. Uh, you're not. You're definitely not alone. I could tell you many of experiences where I've been passed up, many of disappointments. And to tell you the truth, I think I have the right remedy for you so that you, when it happens to you, when you're if something doesn't go through, you've been passed up or something like that, you can move forward because there's many, many people that have gone through it, that are still going through it, that are going to go through it. And there's even people who are, you know, famous people, special people who have gone on and done wonderful things, even they have been passed up and looked over and disappointed. So you don't have nothing to worry about. We're going to get into that. Um, and I kind of want to start it off based on a story a little bit about myself. So my, my my father came into my life when I was 13. And when he came to my life, I was really didn't understand who I was uh, as far as my own identity. I didn't understand really where I was going. I didn't understand much of my, about myself. So when I was around him, I was always nervous and all that stuff. And kind of nervous to really open up myself and be assertive as far as what I was like wanting or thinking about and stuff like that. Now, of course, as you already know, we've had in the video where we talk about rejection. My father and I's relationship is great. We, we talk about a lot of things, everything, really. We're, we speak very candidly. So um, I can tell you, I'll share with you this story. So my father and I um, had, we usually, well, he lives in New York. So I would, I would drive up to New York. My mom would take me to New York, whatever. We'd hang out. We'd go out to eat, whatever, whatever. And it was always cool, right? It's always nice. But I had... Uh, Remember hearing my father say, hey, you know, I'm going to give you some money, da, da, da. And so I'm like, all right, cool. I'm about to get some money. You know, he's about to give me some change, whatever. I know he's he's working. He's got paid, whatever. I'm, you know, 14, 15 years old at this time. So my cousin and my little brother and I, we'd always, uh, we'd always be together for the majority. We were like the trio, you know, I mean, we were always um, playing video games, you know, playing games, laughing, joking, and stuff like that. So I kind of just was like, once I got the word that I was going to get money, I came back to them and I was like, oh, you know, yo, Kyle, uh, uh, Kadeem, I'm, I'm going to get, I'm going to get some money. You know what I mean? It was like, well, how much you going to get? How much you going to get? I was like, I'm, I'm probably going to get like, like a hundred dollars. Cause back then, you know, a hundred dollars was a lot of money. Right. So I was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to get a hundred dollars. They were like, oh, for real, you about to get a hundred dollars? I'm like, yeah, I'm going to get a hundred dollars. So, um, we all like hyping up that moment, whatever. And my father comes to my grandmother's house, whatever. That's where I was staying at the time. You know, whenever I, whenever I would visit New York, my mom would take me to New York, whatever. We'd go with my grandmother's. So my little brother's there, my cousin's there. They're playing video games off to the side. My father comes in and he opens his hands up. Well, he gives me a handshake with the uh, uh, folds of money in my hand. So when he put the money in my hand, I'm thinking, oh, wow. Ooh, money in my hands. I'm good. I, I, this is some good money. You know what I mean? I don't know what it is. I didn't want to look because I feel like, at the time, if you look at if somebody gives you some money in your hands, you don't look at the money right then. You look at it after because you already know you're good. You know what I mean? Um, and I, I, I don't know. It'd be different. You might be saying, hey, no, I look at the money right there. No, I looked at the money right, you know, later because I felt like, hey, I don't want to respect the person, whatever, whatever. I was just that kind of kid. So we talking or whatever. We vibing and all that good stuff. And hey, how was your day? How's school? Da, 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 all that's cool. So he leaves and I open up the hand. I mean, oh, my little brother, and my cousin. Is like crowding around me at this point because they're excited and like I'm I got some money I can you know break them off some uh something to eat as well we could all go out and have a good time right so I opened up my hand and there's five dollars in my hand really five dollars what am, what am I gonna do with five dollars uh you're probably laughing when I say this because I was definitely a little bit upset and, and a little pissed off but you know what I'm saying at the same time it's like you know what Five dollars in New York could get me some Chinese food and it wouldn't even be that much money. So it is whatever. So um they laughed. <laughs> my cousin, my little brother laughed. Like we they laughed, laughed, laughed. They still to, the, to this day, when I bring up that subject, they are like it's it's hilarious, right? But how many times where you're in that same situation where you had those expectations of somebody doing something that they said they was gonna do? Um, and of course, my dad didn't tell me how much money I was going to get. I made that money, my number up myself. But how many times we assume in our minds that we are going to get something that we're, we're not necessarily, uh, we hype up. We're not necessarily promised that that's actually what we're going to get. Um, and so let me kind of touch in a little bit deeper with you. So let's just say you're dating somebody. 
that you like, right? And somebody says something like, hey, I'm gonna, I wanna do this and X, Y, Z with you, da, 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 and I want it to be a great time. And you're like, cool, right? So at the last minute though, you may not hear anything from this person and you've carried a great deal of expectation about this person is, you know, being in your life and, you know, uh, this date was something you planned, but it doesn't happen. Matter of fact, she doesn't even call you and communicate with you and tell you, hey, this is whatever, whatever. You may feel very passed up in that situation. As a matter of fact, you may be really disappointed in what this person is doing. But what I'm getting ready to tell you as a young man, what you should focus on at this point, if that happens to you, brother, I'm telling you, there are so many more people in this world that you really need to focus your time and energy with and attention to. Because believe it or not, you will be in a position where you may end up doing the same thing. Um, I can share with you that there's a lot of energy with this movement of alpha, you know, what an alpha person means. And eventually I'll make a video about that separately. But I don't want you to get in the habit of disrespecting people, right? There's a way in how you do things. Um, but there's a way that you can respond that allows you to control the situation. Let's just say somebody were to cancel. And it's not just, you know, somebody that uh, you, you have a personal relationship with or somebody that you personally care about. This could be anybody, a friend, you know, a, a colleague, whatever. You control the situation based on how you react. So if you react in a way that is, you know, obviously upset, you know, or you're, you know, you're pissed off, whatever it is like that, you want to cut, you don't, you lose at that point. That's the plan that I'm telling you. People play games, okay? People play games, you know, <laughs> be, be honest with you, a lot of, you know, uh, opportunities, games are being played. You got to know which game to play. Are you going to be the pawn or are you going to be the rook? Are you going to be the king or are you going to be the pawn? What are you going to do? to make sure that you control the situation. So one way of doing it is to control how you react. So for me, how I'm gonna react is, you know what, cool. I got something else to do anyway. You may not have anything else to do, but you gonna find something else to do, right? So if something was to happen where um, your plans got messed up or whatever the case may be, you move on from those things. You find something else to do because frankly enough, to tell you the truth, life goes on period. You know what I mean? So, you know, and this is, again, I, I have to also switch gears here into the fact of when you are a, um, you know, you applied for a job, maybe you, you took a test or something, you got, you know, you did something to get to your next position, you're going to find that you may not get that role, you may not get that job, you may not get what you are seeking, and you got passed up. Well, guess what? You know what else was passed up? Oprah was passed up. Um, Tom Brady was passed up. A lot of a lot of celebrities been passed up. So there are people been passed up that are uh, millionaires now, actors, celebrities, uh, CEOs, even me. I was rejected on plenty of jobs that I had applied for. Look at where I'm at today. I'm doing well for myself. I'm in D.C. I'm working. I got a promotion. I wasn't passed up in that situation. But what I'm trying to get to you and understand is you got to be able to deal with disappointment in a way that's maturing of who you are as a young man, because where it yields you that energy, if you take that energy and refocus it back on your priorities. So your priorities at this point, working on it in the gym, you know, applying for a certification class or, you know, doing things that are going to help you excel. Maybe you got to go back into your reading, research more if it's for a position. Maybe you need to find out a mentor who works in that particular field so that you can get that particular job. Right. So you want to focus your attention on people that are going to, um, you know, help you to where you want to go. And so you need to create a plan. Well, I, I would say um, if it was something where I was rejected on a, on a job role, whatever the case may be. In that instance, dealing with that there's a disappointment, I go back to the drawing board. Where could I have done better? Let me tell you something. You don't understand what true success is when you until you understand defeat and a failure. A lot of you guys are looking at failure as a way of the end all be all you're not going to continue that's not where we want to go that's not what we've taken 2021 off to where you are going to do is you're going to take a look back at where your energy needs to be and refocus that energy if it's if it's a person that you know hey not feeling you whatever the case may be or passed you up for some other guy whatever the case may be hey let it go because i'm gonna tell you something relationships jobs 
you know, anything that, that was worth it, whatever the case may be, when you refocus your energy back into yourself, whether it be intelligence, back to your physical well-being, your health, um, you know, money, all that stuff, finances, when you refocus your energy back on those things, your priorities is linked back to that, people will come to you. Jobs will come to you. I've had plenty of times where I refocus, finished up, got my master's, whatever, then jobs is like, hey, can you work for us? I'm like, I'm sorry, I can't. I, I'm employed. I'm good where I'm at right now. Why am I going to leave where I'm at and being taken care of? Right? Same thing in relationships. You know, somebody you know, passed you over maybe a year or two ago, right? They want to get back into your life. They see you doing very well for yourself. They see that, you know, you're doing, you're doing good. You're happy, whatever, whatever. Hmm, maybe I can go hit up that big head. Oh, hey, big head. How you doing? Your DMs, right? How you doing? What you been up to? Da, 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 da. I'm telling you. People start seeing you a little differently when you're taking care of yourself. People start looking at you real differently when you actually caring about yourself. So when you focus your energy on who you are and where you're trying to go, that's when you'll understand where the fact that people will come to you. You don't necessarily have to always come out in your shell to get somebody. The people that, you know, that passed you up are going to look back and say, damn, maybe, I mean, they may not. You know, we're not worried about really what the past is. But you want to focus your own attention on who is choosing you, right? After you focus on yourself, you, you're never stopping focusing on yourself as far as your, um, you know, your energy and your time, right? But you want to focus on those that are going to be focused on you, your energy. And it, you're going to come across too, being honest with you. You're going to come across a situation where you're going to meet somebody and she's going to like you more than you like her. And that's okay. But you need to be honest and, and tell her that that's the case. There's going to be plenty of times where you're going to come across somebody that, you know, wants to do this. And you're like, nah, I'm good. And you may pass up on Like, I'll tell you this story, right? I was dating this girl. This girl was, uh, so my mom's from Barbados or whatever. Like, I think I shared with you before in another episode. And this girl's family is from Barbados. So we had that connection, West Indian connection and stuff. And that culture is very important for me. So us vibing on that tip, we got real close, right? And, but it was something about her that, uh, I think she liked to drink a lot. So, and I know, I'm say that's immature, but she really was like, she could have been an alcoholic situation, but I wasn't willing to go with her in that fight while she was, you know, going through that. I could have helped her out of that, right? But I was like, nah, I don't, you know, want to get into that. Um, and she wasn't bad looking at all. She was a very gorgeous girl, whatever. This is years ago, but... Anyway, um, I had dismissed her. I had blocked her off. I had not even decided I wanted to continue any things further. I just stepped away and went back. And so I try to do that one of those things where I had blocked her and then try to go back with her. But she had already found somebody else. I said, I said, OK, no problem. Um, <laughs> you may have thought you found somebody else, but it ain't going to last. Well, a couple months down the line, she ends up, uh, I think, got engaged to. Right. And then I said, well, nah, it ain't going to last. And they're going to end up getting divorced. She ends up getting pregnant. She got pregnant. When she got pregnant, I, I think that's when I felt some kind of way. Forgive me, it's kind of hot in here, so I need to turn the fan on. But anyway, um, she got pregnant. When she got pregnant, I was devastated because that could have been mine. That could have been my kid. We could, that could have been my family unit. But I chose to make a decision that was probably best for me. Now, I can't go back and regret things from the past because at the end of the day, I do believe that God has a way uh, and for who is best for us at a time. So do you, are you going to come across people that can be best for you in a certain time? You're going to come across people that you, you may think is best for you, but it's not even the right time. It's all about timing and it's all about chemistry and all about uh, energy and where you're putting it. But you have to have acceptance. You have to have a heart of if this is really where you want to go and you really feel like this is the person you want to deal with, you don't want to pass that up, okay? You want to take advantage of the opportunity and further excel into that into that role, so into that position, that next step in your life. So I say all that to say is, you know, have a strategy. If you're the person who's been, you know, you felt disappointed, whatever, you need to have a response plan that controls your behavior and controls how you act and react, okay? Um, and when it happens to a situation where you actually the person that passes up on somebody or an opportunity, 
certain opportunities are not going to be right for you at a certain right time. Certain people, they're not going to be right for you at a certain time. You have to know how to balance that out. You have to understand when it be when it's actually going to be best for you. And when it is, you'll know it. I promise you. It only gets better. And as long as you put your priorities in refocus, that's where you're going to go and do well. So I hope that you took a good amount of wealth from my experiences uh, as far as disappointment and where it may it may be a big uh, help and in, 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 in push for your life. And uh, as you already know, I'm always here for you. So let me know in the comments.